Hey guys, and it's Ben, and welcome back to another Bucket Plugin store. Today we're going to be looking at uh, getting entities from a location, from a set location. So last tutorial I made the tutorial about um, getting entities nearby you, and that was just this method. And this episode we're going to be looking at getting them from a set location, which is what uh, I got lots of requests for. So I guess we're going to get straight into it. Uh, so like in the previous tutorial, we're going to make a on command method. So that's public boolean on command. Command, sender, sender, command, command, string, label, and string array args. Uh, the bomb is going to return false. So, first of all, we're going to do our normal checks. So, if, and then exclamation mark, the sender is an instance of player. So, if the sender is not a player, then we're going to send the sender a message, and we're going to say, uh, you must be a player to use this command. So, they can't use the command, and then return false, like so. Um, so now we can actually, you know, just make a player variable. So player player equals player sender because we know the uh, sender has to be a player because if they're not a player, then they are returned out of this method. So now uh, we're just going to get, say, if the label equals ignore case again, like nearby, like last tutorial. Uh, then what we're going to do this time is we're going to loop through the entities in a method that we're going to create. So for now, if we comment this out, uh, like so. What is this? Oh, that's weird. So if we comment this out, um, and then we're going to make a new method. It's going to be a public list of entities, so it's going to return a list of entities, which are going to be the nearby entities. And we're going to call this a list get nearby entities. And in this list, we can put a location, location, and then int for like the size. It's not really a radius um, because it's a box again but the the size of the box that it's going to be so input everything input to the top and in this method we're going to create a list of entities which we're going to say list entity from org bucket and then entities and this is equal to a new array list that contains the type entity entity like so and then at the bottom of our method we're going to return this entities list okay so now in our method we actually want to add things into the entity list. So to do this, we're going to say for entity e, and then location, which is our location that we put. We're going to get the world, and we're going to get all of the um, get all of the entities into in the um in the thing. So um, now we're going to check if the uh, the distance. So if location dot distance between the location and the entity's location. So, um, entity dot get location. So if that location, the other distance between them in the box, is less than or equal to size, so the size of the uh, the box, or the radius or whatever, then entities uh, dot add e. So if the entity is closer than or equal to the amount of blocks away from the distance that we have specified here, we're going to add them into this list, and then this list gets returned at the end. So this list will contain all of that. So now we can continue with our uh, command. So we're going to loop through all of the entities. So for entity e in the get nearby entities method with the location. And I'm just going to put the player's location. So player.get location. And it's going to have a size of 10. So this is going to do exactly the same as the last one. But if you wanted to, you could use this for a different location. Um, and in here, we're going to... I have a problem with capital letters there or something. Uh, we're going to say player dot send message, and then the same as last time. So if we just go into our last one, I'm going to grab that line of code. So player send message, and then if the entity is an instance of a player, we're going to send them the player's name. Otherwise, we're going to send them the type of entity they are. And that is it. That is how we get entities from a location. Uh, if we go into our plugin.yml that we haven't created, I'm just going to copy over a plugin.yml from our last tutorial. If we go into our plugin.yml, our main is more nearby entities this time. Name is different and the command is still the same. So I'm going to export this and I'll be right back in the game. And one more thing. Uh, if we wanted to say exclude the player from this get the nearby entities list, because obviously this is uh, just containing the uh, the nearby entities that are up by that location. So if you see when I, uh, if I go into game, which knows, if I say did this like way up here, so if I did slash nearby, it's going to add me into it, so my name, into the uh, the console. 
uh, because it's just looping through the nearby entities and obviously that is what we wanted to do but say you wanted to exclude it for the sake of this plugin um, we want to check uh, if entity uh, is equal to player then we want to uh, continue like so and we want to just expand this around here so what this is saying is if the entity that we've selected is equal to the player that has executed this command we're going to skip past this one we're going to skip past this one and continue with the next uh, registry in the for loop so if I just export this again uh, and then reload you'll see now when I do it slash nearby I'm not actually in it so I go down to this cow and a villager I'm gonna get a cow and a villager uh, there's loads of zombies over here so I'm gonna get loads this time uh, Zombie, zombie, villager, villager, zombie, zombie, it's like four zombies, one, two, three, four, and a villager. So yeah, um, this is just how to get your entities in a um, area. Thanks for watching, guys. Um, if you've got any questions, just comment them down below. And yeah, uh, email me at ben at the bcborrowsbucket.com. Leave a comment. Uh, if you want a custom plugin, you can go to the bcborrowsbucket.com and order it from there. If you've got any more questions, I will just send a private message, you know, to all those things. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time.